Spending retirement living abroad is a goal for many senior citizens. In fact, over half a million people who live outside the United States receive Social Security benefits. When you are a U.S. citizen and live overseas before Medicare age, you need to know when to enroll in Medicare when living abroad. Many people aren't sure if they need Medicare while living in another country. Still, you could face a lifetime penalty if you miss your Medicare enrollment without credible coverage, so here's what you need to know. Most people enroll in Part A during their initial enrollment period at 65 if they're not already being automatically enrolled due to receiving Social Security benefits prior to their 65th birthday. Having Part A coordinate with your employer coverage could reduce your spending in the event of an inpatient hospital stay. However, some people delay their Part A enrollment past 65 if they have creditable coverage and they also wish to continue contributing into a health savings account. If you begin receiving Social Security benefits past age 65, Social Security will automatically enroll you in Part A. You cannot enroll in Social Security without activating Part A once you're over 65. Now, if you have at least 40 work quarters, as most people do, you will qualify for premium-free Part A. And if you don't have enough work quarters, then you can purchase Part A benefits if you have to. Unlike Part A though, Part B requires you to pay a monthly premium for it, so you need to think about whether enrolling in Medicare Part B makes sense when you're living abroad. Because Medicare Part B has a monthly premium, many people will delay their Part B enrollment while they have creditable coverage from a large employer. That employer coverage already pays for outpatient services, so they usually don't want to spend additional money for Part B while they are also still working. However, this decision can be tricky when you live abroad. You may not be working for an employer. Perhaps you have retired early to enjoy life abroad. In that case, it is your responsibility to enroll in Medicare Part B, and you will want to do that enrollment during the appropriate enrollment window to avoid a late penalty, even if you are living abroad. The first enrollment window is your initial enrollment period. This seven month window starts three months before your 65th birthday and ends three months after your 65th birthday month. Suppose you don't have credible employer coverage to delay Part B. In that case, you will need to enroll in Medicare during this window to avoid a lifelong late enrollment penalty. When you have creditable coverage from a large employer with more than 20 employees, you can delay Part B past age 65. That creditable coverage gives you a special enrollment period to apply for Part B later when you lose that active coverage. However, the credible coverage needs to be at least as good as Medicare's coverage. You will want to contact Social Security to let them know if you are actively working overseas at age 65 and you're covered by U.S. employer coverage. If the coverage is credible for Medicare, then you can delay Medicare with no penalty while you are actively working. It's also possible that you may have national health insurance in the country where you are living and that may be credible for Medicare. In our experience, the decision will truly depend on the Social Security representative and it will vary case by case. You may also be able to delay your Part B enrollment if you are volunteering overseas when you turn 65 and you have an approved sponsoring organization that's providing you with health coverage. Again, give Social Security a call when you turn 65 and get whatever they tell you about your coverage in writing if you can. If you don't have credible coverage and you fail to enroll during your initial enrollment period, you will have to apply during the general enrollment period or GEP. The annual GEP window is from January 1st through March 31st. And when you apply during this time, your coverage won't be effective until July 1st. This can sometimes result in a gap in coverage if you are not prepared for the delayed start date. And if you didn't enroll when you were first supposed to, you may also be assessed a penalty of 10% for every 12 months that you've gone without Part B or creditable coverage. When you become Medicare eligible, you will want to make sure you enroll during the appropriate enrollment window as I have previously discussed. If you have Part A and Part B and you return to the US, you will qualify for a special enrollment period to apply for a Part D drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. 
You only need part A or B to apply for a part D drug plan, but you need both parts to apply for an Advantage plan. The special enrollment period is a two month window that starts the day you return to the United States. If you do not enroll in a Part D drug plan or Advantage plan during this window, you will need to wait until the fall annual election period to apply. And then you would also have a Part D late enrollment penalty because you missed your opportunity to enroll in a plan when you first returned. Additionally, if you are interested in a Medigap plan, you will likely need to answer health questions on your application once you return to the US. It all depends on when you have your Part B become effective. If you are within six months of your Part B effective date, you can apply for a Medigap plan with no health questions asked. If you've had Part B for more than six months, you will need to answer health questions and an underwriter will review your application and decide whether to issue your coverage. Depending on the state, your approval is not guaranteed. If you are one who desires to live abroad in retirement, be sure to research your Medicare options and your coverage before you move if you plan on ever moving back to the United States. It's important to know the Medicare enrollment process when you're living abroad and returning can be complex. You do not want to get stuck with a penalty if you return to the United States sometime in the future. If you need help evaluating your options, get connected with an agent here at Boomer Benefits for assistance.